Okay, so Trump is in terror. This is what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this will be a quick question about Trump and all of his issues. He's been arrested and indicted by E. Jean Carroll and lost a suit. He's been, um, or, or an, an Alan Bragg in uh, Manhattan. He's uh, pending uh, being arrested and indicted in Georgia by Fonnie Willis. And he's pending being arrested and indicted by the big guy, Jack Smith. That'll be the quick question. What about Trump's terror? <laughs> Okay, I can't wait to get into this. So, Trump, he um, owes money to Eugene Carroll. She's suing him again. Uh, Fonnie Willis in Georgia is getting ready to indict him. She's telling the judges, leave me two weeks open. Don't do anything else. And uh, suspending all their other cases. Uh, Jack Smith is talking to the janitors and the people that move the boxes in Mar-a-Lago. All the people that he... Um, you know, treats like uh, janitors and people move boxes, like a rich person would do. So um, we're going to talk about that and see what the cards can tell us about Trump's terror. The first thing I want to know is uh, very quickly. We're going to do probably three three card draws, Mac, because it's a quick question. So E. Jean Carroll, is she going to win more money from Trump? One, two. I probably should ask if she'll ever pay, but no, we'll see if she's going to win more money from Trump. Okay, first card, E. Jean Carroll. Okay, truth, justice, rules, and law. That's what swords are. This is the four swords. And so let's talk about taking a break. Look, this figure even has long hair. And uh, resting, wait until it's just the right time to get up and start your um, fight or your journey again. That's E. Jean Carroll. Ah, temperance, again, finding a balance. Uh, waiting till you get things tempered exactly right. And the final card is lost, and this is Trump. So he's crying over what he's lost. He's got a little bit left. And so that's what's going to get him in trouble or what's going to be left to be collected by Fonnie Willis. And so that's the second draw. Fonnie Willis from Georgia. Um, uh, let's see. Is she, in fact, going to indict uh, Trump? Which means arrest. Let's be clear. When they say indict, it sounds so clean and... And, and clinical. No, that means he's going to be arrested. Okay. They won't show it to us. Like if you and me got arrested, but uh, yeah, when you're indicted, then you're arrested and then you have to respond to the indictment. So Fonnie Willis, is she going to indict in August? One, Trump. Two, three, is she going to indict Trump? Fonnie Willis indict Trump in August, 2023. Let's see what we have. Three cards. Ah, the High Priestess, all the power, all knowing, this is funny. Second card, the Page of Swords. This is truth, justice, rules, and law. And this page is bringing a message. This could also be a spy in the camp. So this could represent all the people who've already talked to uh, the authorities about Trump. This can be just the beginning of truth, justice, rules, and law, uh, bringing its idea up and say, okay, now what can we do with this? Final card for Fonnie Willis, will she indict in August, is the devil. And we see here that these people are enchained by the devil. The devil is lesser intentions. These are Trump's intentions. Yes, she is going to catch up with him with truth, truth justice, rules, and law. Interesting. The next we're going to do a quick question on uh, Jack Smith. So Jack Smith, is he getting ready to indict? Will he indict uh, in 2023? Will Jack Smith indict Trump in 2023? That's what I want to know. Will Jack Smith, Trump's absolute terror, is he going to indict him in 2023? Let's see how that works out. One. 
two and three. Is Jack Smith going to indict Trump in 2023? And then maybe a little bonus. Ah, so this is feeling in battle. Wands are uh, actions, plans, forward movement. I think this is actually Jack Smith trying to get a handle on all of these issues that he has to deal with. This is remembering the way things were in the past. This is cups, this is emotion, this is compassion. I think this is Trump kind of remembering before he had all this trouble. This could also be Trump too, dealing with all these issues. And then strength. This is definitely Jack Smith. I guess it could be Trump too, but this is Jack Smith taming the beast. A gentle hand on the beast, calming the beast. Say, okay, we're gonna take you. We're gonna put you in the cage now. So just calm down, strength. So yeah, I think uh, Jack Smith is going to um, indict before the end of the year. And remember, indict means arrest and then uh, answer to the court. And then just one more, two or three, or two or three on um, will Trump start losing more court battles? Will Trump start losing more court battles? Three cards. One, two, three. This year, of course. Will Trump start losing more court battles? First card, look at that. That was Trump in the last hand. This is Trump fighting off everything. The thing about this card is that this fellow is not on a good footing. He's got a shoe that's untied on this foot. He's got just a sock on this foot. So this is Trump. He's uh, not well footed to uh, handle all these issues. Ah, this is um, happy family. Um, that's interesting. Will he start losing? Yes, he will. This is the um, Seven of Pentacles, looking at all that value and thinking, what could I have done different? Happy family. You know, I think this is speaking to his kids. I think this is just not necessarily happy family, but this is everybody going down with the ship. So yeah, he's gonna start losing. 